Mabuhay, or in Kapampangan, Luwid, Kayu. Today's video is actually about one of my most requested topics. Kuya Kirby, can you make a video about the battles of La Naval? So, mula taong 1600 hanggang 1646 ay paulit-ulit na sinusubukan at pilit sa kupin ng mga Olandes o Dutch ang Pilipinas. I mean, there were five five naval battles in 1646 alone. At noong mga panahong ding ito ay napakaliit din ng bilang ng mga pwersa ng mga Kastila sa Pilipinas upang depensahan ang buong kapuloan. Despite being colonized, the kingdoms of Luzon were able to maintain and retain their maritime influence. They were able to keep their naval fleet. And many of them, also known as the Luzones, were still able to trade independently across the seas in East and Southeast Asia. And Spain utilized the Kapampangan force to their advantage throughout centuries, leading to their victories in Cinco Batallas de la Naval and the final defeat of the Dutch on October 4, 1646. So during the fifth and final battle of La Naval, the invading Dutch forces had a force of 800 armed soldiers aboard 16 galleons, three warships, and 16 lanchas against three Spanish galleons. But what is often forgotten and ignored is the unknown number of the smaller Kapampangan Kapampangan war boats called Virai, and the over 400 Kapampangan Bayani or warriors who fought valiantly in this battle. So how were they able to defeat the Dutch? Mahanano dong asambut deng Olandes nung di taklamu. The Kapampangans had bigger warships like the Caracoas, but they preferred to use the smaller Virais against the larger European battleships. Gamitan do deng mangalating Virai to intimidate and to initiate assault to lure the bigger Dutch warships into a trap. Kaya ba't po na makapalibot nila ding mapilang mangalating viray pamomba na nalang alang patugot. And once the smoke settles, the smaller virays would actually come closer to the Dutch galleons and use an indigenous tactic called sampang. Sampangan dano ding ding Dutch galleons kaya ba't karinda nila aryan. They'll seize and pounce upon the Dutch galleons to finish them off. Anya nung kapampangan kang mikipili ng viray ang pong sampang, it is most likely that your ancestors were important figures in this indigenous war tactic. And it was an astonishing victory. Limalang dalan ng mete ka Rengolandes kabang kinsilamu ng mete kaya tamong kapampangan. The Dutch had far more warships, far more guns and soldiers, yet they were still embarrassingly defeated. And because of their astonishing victory, the Spaniards rewarded the Kapampangans with favors and privileges, including the restoration of their lands, their titles, and certain protections against Spanish colonial abuses. And it was also because of their valor in this war that the Kapampangan nobility were restored and were officially recognized as part of the Spanish Hidalguia. Anyapin kera ka lang kakatamong Kapampangan aritain tala ng kaya katamong pili dung kapampangan lakwas na kaya ng kaya katamong mapeng sugi kalupa mingsab ni darin tayag pabala ng pangumali and many other noble and warrior clans kalupa darin viray sampang salunga salonga pamintuan pangilinan punsalan mahapagal laksamana and many others and because of their victory, the Spanish king himself exempted the kapampangans from paying colonial taxes and tributes for all eternity until the Americans took over the islands. This was also not the first time nor the only time that Europeans relied on Kapampangan forces to help defend their colonies, but more on that in future videos. And it wasn't always glorious. The Kapampangans were not just called upon to fight off foreign invaders, but also to quell local rebellions throughout the islands. Inabuso ng mga Kastila ang tulong ng mga Kapampangan upang pag-away-awayin at sakupin ang buong Kapuloan. Spain pitted brown people against one another to maintain their supremacy. But we also have to remember that during this time, this idea, this nationalist idea of one United Philippines with one Filipino identity did not yet exist. Which is why the colonizers were able to take advantage and exploit our people. Sadly, in makalungkot, in ing kapanaligan dang ipanluwalu dare mga tapa ng kapampangan, rin ng kapuluan ng iti, yamuna mang sangkan, king kawalan, na ning bang sangkapampangan. Ang mga kapampangan ang may pinakamalaking bilang ng mga mamayan at may pinakamalaking bansa noong dumating ang mga Kastila. But after centuries of sending them off to fight wars after wars, the population of Indung Kapampangan shrunk dramatically. Even our once lush jungles were deforested to make more and more galleons and other ships for the Spanish Navy to benefit the Spanish Empire. Sa kabila ng mga 
mga pribilehyong iginawad ay minaliit pa rin ng mga Kastila ang tulong at tagumpay ng mga kapampangan. In fact, ang sabi nila, ang tagumpay na ito ay dahil sa pagdarasal ng mga Katolikong Kastila laban sa mga protestanteng Holandes. The Spaniards gave credit to the patron of the Navy, the Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, for this miraculous victory. Anyapin meto niyang maragula celebrasyon ing fiesta na ning Nuestra Señora de la Naval kaya katamu, King Manila, King Bacolor, ang poking kanakong indong balena ng Angeles. At sa ilang daang taong nakalipas, ay unti-unting nabura at nakalimutan ang kabayanihan at tagumpay ng mga kapampangan. Despite surviving records and praises from both the Dutch and the Spaniards, the majority of the Filipino people today don't know much about it. They probably never heard of it. Nevertheless, it is still remembered by many kapampangans today. And we continue to pass it down through oral tradition religious devotions, and scholarly work. So now what? The fact that we don't remember this war, the fact that we don't remember anything from it, reveals that we really don't know much about our own histories beyond what is taught to us by the colonial miseducation of our people. We really need to dig deeper and uphold the forgotten histories of our people beyond colonialism. Our indigenous roots and the legacies of our ancestors were erased from our memories to advance imperialism. And if we do not know our own roots, then how can we truly serve our people? Then how can we build a brighter future for our motherland? Anya pinpaneming sa sabiyan, know your roots and know history, know self. So if you want to learn more, I'm actually working on a new book project about the forgotten and untold histories of the Luzones, both at home in the motherland and abroad in the new world. So stay tuned. Or you can also visit Sinupan Sing Sing in Angeles City to learn more from our scholars and beloved elders. Or you can also invite me to come out and give a talk. And that is it for me today. If you like this video and learn a thing or two, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to help me make more videos like this, show your support and please be my patron or get a copy of my book. Dakalpong salamat! See you next time or in Tagalog kita kits and in Kapampangan, Mickey Ticks!